But I wanted to read this second part of this prophecy. And so we'll tab it as March 20th of 2020. 2020, 2020. There we go. For some have said, why has the pestilence tarried? Why against the whole earth? For as the time of Egypt, I did not want my hand against the peoples, but I am against their many gods. For I've set a plague against their gods. Yet many did not respond. For they have replaced me with their many gods and their many false Christs. Many gods that are leading billions today into destruction. So I'm leveling the gods of the earth. They will possess no power in the day of their deliverance. No false Christs, no graven images, no scientific tricks will I allow. For I will tarry with some nations, yea, even a many nations, until their gods have been cast off. Well after this current pestilence. For my desire is to reach my beloved, those who I have created, that they might come to a saving knowledge of a Savior. Like Nineveh and the Baals before them, like the Greeks and the Romans before them, like the communists and those that have made idols out of mammon, you will only be able to find refuge under the doorposts of my sacrifice, my son. Let me be the cleft of the rock in troubled times for you, just as I was for Moses in those times. For there is a season coming like a great net of fish that Jesus was told his disciples to cast against their intellect. And it shall be filled to the breaking strength of the net. But your net will not even be big enough for the people that I am sending you to be, they shall be like the dew is in the morning. For many, this might even seem virtually impossible. But the Lord would say tonight to lift the mindset of your possibility and think the thoughts of God. This time will never be as the former. Please don't pine for it. It will be a different better. Let me read that again. It will be a different better. Your, main, my, your mind may not perceive it now, but that's okay. Some of you will need to be reinvented or reinvent yourself. Embrace it. Don't fear it, for God in this hour has ordained it. And if he has ordained it, he will give you the grace for change. Take comfort even with surrounding trouble. For I am with you in the very midst of it, in the very center of it, says the Lord, even to the end of this age.